Mr. Murthy, uh, domestic politics in the Maldives, in you know, theoretically, uh, we are all taught in international relations that domestic policy affects foreign policy. Uh, but in this case, the presidential elections, as you mentioned earlier, President Soli has finally spoken about uh, wanting to stand for a second term. Now, a lot of dirt is being thrown around, as we know, President Nasheed's ambitions were always known. Uh, your reading of the internal dynamics and how that could affect policy. So there are multiple angles to internal dynamics. One is, of course, the problem within the MDP that was already there after one year after Soli became president. When President Nasheed's ambitions became clearer by the day. Now it has come to a stage where uh, personal accusations, abuses, I mean, that has nothing to do with politics, but everything to do with the laws and religion are being thrown at each other in quick succession. That is unhealthy politics, but in the case of Maldives, a nation that was a young democracy, starting off as a multi party democracy only in 2008, a lot of people voted for MDP in huge numbers and for democracy otherwise. Because even in the first uh, election of 2008, though Najid and MDP represented democracy, there were at least two other candidates who voted substantially for a pro democracy platform. They transferred their votes to Najid in the second round. That is how MDP and Najid came to power. But many of these constituencies, particularly the non committed voters, among them, I understand are getting increasingly disillusioned. One, with the way MDP is handling itself, to the way democracy is being exploited and getting a bad name for itself. So this is there is a uh, dynamics working there. That is something that is we have to watch. The Maldivians will have to watch with concern, particularly the last week. Uh, there's uh, dirt and all that. That is very embarrassing for a lot of Maldivians themselves. And I would not be surprised, though I would not wish it on them. This is the whole, whole percentage for the presidential election would come down from the national average of above 90%. That becomes very uh, difficult for them to predict the elections. And I hear from a lot of friends back there. I don't want to vote. I want to retire from politics. There is at least a couple dozen friends who could afford it. Say, I don't want to live here anymore. This is all bad politics, and it doesn't convey a healthy mindset of the political politics. And this is where uh, Dr. Gulbid Sultana was repeatedly talking about radicalization. If in other nations. Frustrated, you take to uh, left leaning ideology or right leaning ideology, fundamentalism of either kind. In Maldives, it will be religious fundamentalism. That we should not forget. And the politicians in Maldives have to take a great responsibility if radicalization goes there. 